Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel. I've got a question here from Oswald. Oswald said he noticed in his garage, he noticed this damp that was appearing on the floor. He had some rubber tiles down there, took those up, and it was all damp underneath. Now, in the hallway, he has this area here, and the wallpaper started falling off it. In here's the garage, and in here is the hallway. So, so he noticed that hallway was getting pretty damp and you can clearly see here that these fixings around here that are on this quadrant they're all rusty so it suggests there's quite a bit of damp in there now the house isn't old so i reckon it's not a question of a, lacking a damp proof course or anything like that so what i said to him is what's above this this looks like a bit of box work here and sure enough when he showed me the photographs of what's above it We've got a WC going down into a soil stack. Now that is going into the hallway just in this area here. That's where the soil pipe comes down and goes into the drain. So there's a good clue. And I said to him, best thing you can do is open that wall up, cut a hole in it or something like that, and have a look inside and see if you've got any damp coming down from there. So that's what he did. He said he didn't have to cut the wall. He said he just pushed the plasterboard and it just fell in so it just shows how damp it was so inside he found all this fiberglass insulation which is common they use that just to quieten the soil pipe down if it's being used it, it deadens the sound of the water to a certain extent so all that is just sopping wet you know the whole thing is just soaked so that does suggest that there's a leak coming from up here somewhere around that WC, probably where it branches in the soil pipe itself, where it connects into the soil stack, in which case all this water here would be dirty water, if you like. It would be from the loo outlet, so not very nice. So I would suggest probably taking off that whole piece of plasterboard, revealing all that, stripping out all that fiberglass, because it's pretty horrible now and uh, fixing the leak and get a plumber in to fix the leak if he can't do it himself and then putting back some new fiberglass new bit of plaster all and then new plaster so that's it in a nutshell i hope that saved you some money oswald and saved you having to get some damp specialists in to have a look at it but it just shows you know just keep looking keep sniffing and a lot of the time you'll find the cause of the problem